Hi there, in this video I was hoping to uh, machine the most complicated component of the uh, Jerry Howell V-Twin and that is the valve gear case but having looked at the instructions it looks like I'm better off starting off on the valve gear case cover so in this video I'm going to have a good machine in that valve gear case cover so this is the side view of the valve gear case cover and uh, I've got sort of a plan and I'll be machining it out of uh, this piece of aluminium bearing in mind that the drawing is twice the actual size of the actual component so I've put a four jaw chuck on the lathe and uh, centred the piece and what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to face the end then I'm going to reduce the uh, outside diameter to 2.74 of an inch and then I'm going to create a boss on the end which will be 2.249 inches in diameter and it will go to a sort of a width of uh, a quarter of an inch So I've set the carriage stop down here and I need to take about 121 thou off. Well, I think it's about three thou to come off this, so uh, I'll use the fine feed on the final cut. So now I need to create a boss on here, which will be 2.249 inches in diameter um, to a width of a quarter of an inch. So I've set the um, carriage stop to a quarter of an inch and we'll just nibble away in 10 thou increments. So I calculate there's about 7,000 to come off this, so I'll uh, just use the fine feed. So I'm just going to put a bit of a chamfer on this edge. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just going to cut a groove for an o-ring here, which is uh, 62 thou deep and 70 thou wide. So now there's a requirement to uh, drill a hole through here, 0.39 uh, of an inch. Um, but I'm going to uh, open it up with a 25 drill bit, which is pretty close. Uh, but I'll do that bit off camera. Well, I've decided I'm going to have a go at parting it off 25 thou over the uh, proper width. Uh, but it might be a bit of a big ask, is that? Um, so I might end up just marking it and then uh, try and use the bandsaw or something to uh, cut it off. We'll see how we get on. I'll sharpen this tool up. Try again. Okay, so having marked it up, I think I'm going to uh, take it off the lathe and uh, try and hacksaw it off. Okay, so I've super glued a bit of bar stock into it and uh, hopefully I'll be able to cut it off with the bandsaw. Okay, so while it's on this mandrel then, it seems like a, a good opportunity to uh, face this end and uh, get it down to the correct width.
Oh, in bad. Okay, so I've put it back on the floor, jaw chuck. I've just put a light under here to make sure that there's no gap between the bottom face and the top of the jaws. And it all looks good. So now I need to open up the centre to take a bearing. So it's um, half an inch in diameter and uh, 0.29 of an inch deep. But it's pretty tight in there, so uh, I'll do this bit off camera. Well, the hole for the bearing seemed to go okay. And uh, I had to create a recess as well. I'm not too sure what that's for. Uh, but anyway, I've moved the chuck over to the mill and I'm just centering on the uh, hole for the bearing. So that looks pretty good. So what I need to do now is uh, drill some holes uh, around the edge and they'll be used to hold the uh, cover onto the valve gear case. Okay so to drill the four holes that are needed I'm going to use the uh, bolt circle function on the DRO. So I'm on centre. And the uh, diameter for the uh, bolt circle is uh, 2.43 of an inch. Starting angle is 45 degrees. Ending angle I've put 405. I always add 30, 360 to uh, the starting angle. So that's 405. And the number of holes I've put is 5 instead of 4. So that takes me round to the, uh, the one that I started on, if that makes sense. So what I'll do first of all is uh, just centre drill. The actual holes need to be 0.136 of an inch in diameter, but I've not got a drill bit that size. The closest I've got is 3.5 millimeters, so that's uh, the one I'm going to use. Uh, but I'll do that off camera. Well, that seemed to go okay. So what I've just done is I've loosened the uh, jaws on the four jaw chuck and just spun this round 45 degrees. What I need to do now is to drill and tap some. Uh, 4 by 40 holes, just two of them, and uh, these are going to be used as um, removal forcing screws. So once this cover's in place, it's going to be very difficult to remove it without being able to sort of put some screws through here and sort of like lever it off. Um, so this is just straightforward. It's uh, I'm going to use the bolt circle function. It, they're on a 2.48 bolt circle, and. Uh, like I say, there's just two to be uh, drilled and tapped, but I'll do that off camera. Well, that seemed to go okay. Um, now I've decided to hold off um, drilling and tapping the holes here. These are for the um, hole sensor housing, but they're centered around the um, oil pump shaft hole, which is drilled later when you're actually creating um, the actual uh, valve gear case. So that, that bit I'll have to uh, we'll, we'll have to wait until later. Um, so the only thing I need to do now I think is um, machine a boss on here. Okay so uh, to create the boss uh, I need to take uh, 115 thou off here and the boss is going to be uh, 0.625 in diameter. So just sort of eyeballing this here on the edge of this round tool. I think that's the limit I can go to cutting inwards or that way rather. Um, so I've set my dial to zero on this so I know not to go beyond that point. I've uh, set the carriage stop to 115 thou and I'll cut in 10 thou increments. So 
we'll see how we get on. Well, there's just five thou to go on that width. Um, but I think I'll just try nibbling away to get this boss down to uh, 0.625 of an inch in diameter. That's pretty close. I'll uh, continue and get it down a bit more closer, but I'll do that off camera. Well, I think that's turned out okay. Well, one of the main reasons for having to go to making this uh, Jerry Howell V twin is uh, the challenge of the valve gear case. Um, it looks very, very complicated. <laughs> and I'll be having a go at making that in the next uh, one or two videos. Uh, but in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you later.